today I'm going to be doing a quick DIY on how you can create a really elegant centerpiece uh, for fall without breaking the bank. Um, so all the items I'm going to use came from the dollar store or Goodwill. Um, and this entire display cost me under $20. So you really can create um, a high-end look on a budget. So first off, I found this really nice wooden tray. Um, it's real rustic looking. It has really nice handles. It's really heavyweight. That's gonna be the base of our centerpiece. And then I also found two of these. Um, they're actually pretty heavyweight um, glass bowls. Um, and I found two and they were a dollar each. And then I also found a larger one um, that was $2. And again, they're really heavyweight, so I suspect that they probably came from um, maybe Target or um, they're not your typical Dollar Tree um, finds. So although I love the Dollar Tree, I'm not knocking them, but um, it's hard to find this size and um, something this heavy there. So I found these at Goodwill. Um, I found the tray at Goodwill. And we're gonna start off by using this uh, woven placemat that I found at uh, the Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. I'm going to add it to the inside of our tray. So anytime that you add material, you're adding texture. And so on the inside of our tray, not only are we going to add texture, but we're also going to add a little bit of color for the inside of our tray display here. And then at Goodwill, I found this large milk bottle. And I also found these they're almost like a paper um, flower. And so what I did is I tore off the bottoms of the uh, stems of the flowers, and then I pulled them apart and I put them in the bottom of the jar with some really small miniature acorns. And so what that did is it afforded me the ability to push these down into the bottom of the glass because they were relatively tall, but then it also really dressed up the inside of this milk bottle glass. So we're gonna use that in the back side of our display. And then here, towards the front right side, I'm gonna drop in this really large pillar candle. And then I took some little artificial mums that I found at the dollar store. And this is kind of a unique little um, look and a little idea. I took the tops off of each one of these mums and I'm just simply going to drop them into this glass dish. This is a nice alternative to using an actual um, sort of floral arrangement. You can actually use the tops of your flowers. And then I also have, for our other glass dish here, I have this really pretty mix of acorns and um, real rustic pumpkin pods. And so I'm gonna use those here with our miniature pine cones and our other glass dish. So I wanna try to get them in there without making a mess. And so here we have this really pretty um, rustic looking filler here. And then I found this really pretty orange um, ceramic pumpkin uh, with a really cute little vine on the top. And I found this at Goodwill as well, and it was 50 cents. So I'm gonna set that here in the corner of our display. And here's a little trick. So when you have different varying heights and you wanna elevate something, especially if you're using something that's clear glass, I'm gonna use this really small, um, pint size mason jar and I'm simply going to lay that down and I'm going to set this on top of it so that it gives us some height. We have some varying heights now on our tray and since it's clear glass it's going to blend in pretty well. And then to top it off I'm just going to set some pine cones out here in no real order just sort of randomly tucking them into places um, to give us a little bit of a rustic look. And then when you light your candle it just creates a really nice, warm, elegant look. Um, it's a little upscale, um, but you really didn't break the bank. This whole thing cost me uh, just a little under $20. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can leave your comments below. Visit my website, www.athomewithzane.com. We'll look for you the next time. And remember, it's your home. Create a space you'll truly love.